Welcome to Diodes, Clippers, and Clampers Review. Okay, so for a circuit like this, where we've just got a single resistor and a diode, the first thing we want to do is find out if the diode is forward bias or reverse bias. And the way that we can do that, we know that we want the plus on the anode and the minus on the cathode in order to be forward biased. So we need to look and see if that's what we've got. <clears throat> and we can see the plus here on our, on our power supply, and our minus here. And so if we do our loop, we've got the minus to plus on the resistor, we've got a minus to the plus on the diode. So it is forward biased. Now that we know it's forward biased, it's essentially acting like a closed switch. Therefore, we can say that the diode is forward biased with 0 0.7 volts across it, which means that if we write our Kirchhoff equation, trying to solve for, for the output, we can see that we've got, if we start here and go down, we've got plus V out minus 5 volts. There's our minus 5 volts DC Keep coming plus 0 0.7 has to equal 0. Kirchhoff says so. So now we can simplify this. See that V out is equal to 5 volts minus 0 0.7 volts. V out is equal to 4.3 volts with these polarities, minus to plus. All right, so now we've got the diode turned around. We know that our supply is plus to minus. That means that our polarity is on the resistor, minus to plus, and our diode is minus to plus there. So that diode is reversed bias. So essentially, it is now acting like an open switch. So draw a little switch here, open. So there is zero circuit current flowing right now with that diode reverse bias, which means that zero current times whatever that resistance is going to be zero volts on the output. So if it's an open switch, we're going to have the full 10 volts across the diode with that polarity and zero volts at the output. All right, the first thing we want to do is determine the polarities. Plus to minus on the resistor. Plus to minus on the diode. So we can see that this diode is in fact forward bias. And that means that we've got from here to here, 0 0.7 volts. Means that the resistor, if we do Kirchhoff, the resistor voltage up here would be 24.3. So V out is, if we Kirchhoff through the resistor, we'd have minus 24.3 plus 25 or we can cut you off through the diode and we've got plus 0.7. So either way we get 0 0.7 for the output. All right, so let's break this waveform down. We've got now got AC. So let's look at it on the positive part of the waveform 
in the negative part of the waveform. So we've got a plus 10 at this point, and we've got a minus 10 at this point. A plus 10 volts peak and a minus 10 volts peak. So during the positive cycle, we've got these polarities right here. So we can see that that left diode is going to be forward bias. The right diode is going to be reverse bias. So it's going to be an, basically an open switch. So our output of a forward bias diode is going to look like this. That's going to be 0 0.7 volts. <clears throat> During the negative cycle, our polarities are like this. Gives us a plus here, minus here. And a plus minus there. So we can see that the right diode is now forward bias and the left diode is going to be reverse bias. And that's going to give us a minus 0 0.7 volts. So we can see our, our ground or DCs right down in the middle. And we've got a plus 0.7 on the pause cycle and a minus 0 0.7 during the negative cycle. Okay, 10 volts peak. There's our waveform. During the positive cycle, we have plus to minus there, plus to minus, plus to minus. <clears throat> so we can see that the dots forward bias. So our V out will be the diodes on during the positive cycles. So we're going to have an output that is close to the input. So if this was 10 volts, this would be 9.3. Subtract the 0.7 of the dial. During the negative cycle, <clears throat> recolor that. During the negative cycle, we were going to have plus to minus here, plus to minus here, plus to minus. So you've got the diode is open. It's like an open switch. So in the negative part of the cycle, we're going to have zero volts right here. Okay, we've got our generator voltage. Volts peak. During the positive cycle, we've got plus to minus. We've got plus to minus. Plus to minus. The output now, the diode is during the pause cycle, the diode is reverse bias. So it is acting like an open. The output will have zero volts. Okay. During the negative part of the cycle, We've got we've got negative. 
negative and positive, negative and positive, negative, positive. So we can see that the diode's forward bias <clears throat> and that the voltage will be 0 0.7 volts and that the rest of the voltage, 9.3, will be on the output, negative. Okay. Okay, so here is the classic clamper. The first thing to do with these guys is to figure out when the capacitor is going to charge. And the capacitor is going to charge when that diode is forward bias, and it's going to charge really, really quick. <clears throat> so we can see the diode when it is forward bias, it's going to be minus plus which means that the capacitor is going to charge minus to plus, which means that it charge on the negative cycle. So here's our generator. Um, Now we can simply, because this is going to charge during every negative cycle right here, it's going to top back off. This voltage is going to charge up to what on the cap? You can see it's going to be 9.3 volts. 9.3 volts. So now if we kirch off these different data points, we can figure out what's going on with the output. And we can see if the if we go back, we pick this point right here. And we know that the cap charges up super fast and it and the other thing with the clampers it doesn't have time to discharge through the resistor. Like the resistor is large enough and the frequency is or the time is fast enough where it does not discharge uh, from that 9.3. So if we go back here and we pick this point in time and we say, well, this is zero volts at this moment in time. We're going to say it's zero. We can go to our output and we can say, okay, what is the what is the voltage or what is the DC voltage? Let's move this down just a little bit more. If this is zero volts, we can see that we've got at zero volts, we've got 9.3 volts. If we kirch off from the output, we've got the plus 9.3 across the resistor. <clears throat> now, if we go up here, to the generator and we say, okay, let's go up to five volts peak. With this polarity. So we are now right here. So if we kirch off back, we've got 9.3 plus five. which gives us 14.3. Okay. If we go back to this zero, we get the same 9.3. Now, if we go to the, this point right here, 
which is negative 5. And we Kirchhoff back, we've got a plus 4.3, 9.3 minus 5. I need to move that green one down even more. Now, if we go back to this point, the zero, we've got the 9.3 again. So now, if we connect the dots, we can see that our voltage is now clamped to 9.3 volts. We still have the same 10 volts peak to peak. We just simply shifted the reference to 9.3 volts. So there's a clamper. Okay, here's another clamper. I'm going to draw the generator voltage. We've got four volts peak. We can see that the diode is going to forward bias during the positive cycle. And that this cap is going to instantly charge up to 3.3 volts. And we're going to transpose. We can see at this point right here where we've got zero, we've got a zero points. Zero volts on the generator. We've got minus 3.3 uh, volts. Get that over. That's going to be here, here, and here. Now we're going to go to this point, the positive point. Four volts. Kirchhoff, and we've got minus 3.3 plus 4, which gives me a plus 0.7. this part. Then we can go to this point right here. We've got a minus 4 volts. Kirchhoff, we've got minus 3.3 plus a minus 4 gives me 7.3. So we've got plus 0.7 to <clears throat> minus 7.3. So we've still got the 8 volts peak to peak. We've just shifted our reference now to minus 3.3 volts. So it's a clamp at minus 3.3 volts.